and welcome back folks to Let's Play Phoenix Wright's Attorney. Now it's been a while since we've put, I've recorded some of this. I've had to struggle with the recorders. I'm not going to be doing the uh, first act in, uh, till the next episode, I think just I is feeling a bit rough today. This game, but this music is depressing, man. No, it's meant to be, but still, sheesh. I think it's called the Jailer's Ele Elegy, this one. you guys folks but the one thing I prefer the courts bits more to the, to the investigating bits the only investigation bits I like are they like the um, uh, interactive investigation ones I like them I just don't like all the court bits I mean okay. the, all the investigation bits I'm hoping the new ones better than the investigation bits and it's more interactive See to me. Oh, thanks, Charming. How are you good enough? Charming! So you're asking us, a defence attorney anyway, to go to another defence attorney to represent someone that we could represent. Thanks, Charming! Another backstory, yeah? Not supposed to be a bug star. Ten o'clock. And this is the debut of the early trials, our trials which was no time at all to um uh prepare. Even though we said we're gonna go to the office straight away, we need to go somewhere else. Yes? Our offices. I'll try to like, do a gumshoe voice, I like doing gumshoe. Hey, you over there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, we're not. I could, yeah, I agree with you, Phoenix. Uh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He's a killer. You're no killer, right? Yeah, you are. We proved him innocent. For that, I'll call you Detective Sweet Shoes. Um, that's me. No, don't step in the blue. My, that's me. Don't step in my blue suede shoes. Wait, that's a song, pal. My name's Dick Gumshoe. Wait, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name out. And don't go call me Dick. Yes, sir. Be right, be right there. Um, ahem. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you've got business here, you'd better do it quick. 
Well, we could be laying my line, but she just needs to go somewhere else. Hey, man. I have that. You think it... Cool. I need my second pal. Tricky lawyer. And the hardest bit to do in voice acts in this game, because you don't know, if you don't look properly and you're in trouble to concentrate and down the voice, you can see up building doing someone else's, tell them not so straight. Something the matter? Oh, mm. Yeah, pre to the next guess. Oh. I'm missing there. That's what she said. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers you called anyway. There you go. Yeah, I think she was a bit of a... Well, not useless to the actors, but pretty useless detective. Well, let's have a word with him then. Hmm? You wanna know the results, huh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. You might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you're getting special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. I'll touch the report. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. You're right. I really will, Gumshoe. We will win it, if he was actually defending. The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth in the trial and prosecution. Damn it, trial, not pros prosecution in the trial. Bugstar here. I'm sure you know what it means, you being a lawyer and all. You all done, pal? Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on taking talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influence on the witness with your lawyer ways. Is that even a word? Oh. How do you know? I am. Yeah, Miss April May. Funny name. I'm, I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Yeah, you just told us a name. Aha, you're trying to lie when you talk to me now. She not to go outside her room until the trial. Idiot! You got that right, pal. Oh, let's talk about Edward. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edward himself. Wait, do you you do know him? You do know him, don't you? You do know him. Oh, Phoenix knows him, I think. Thanks, there again. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. Is it lost? Wow, what are you? Yeah. So soon as if you know, do not. You were. So, what? 20, so for four years, folks, the prosecutor, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, has never lost a trial. Does sound a bit fishy, doesn't it? No, we'll go about that. Let's see if he's in yet. I've played this game, I've played this many times, but I thought I'd be going, this seems a little too, uh, too easy. It wouldn't have been so likeable. Look it up in the now, man. Mm. 
She gonna let me know I'm scared then. can tell me who says that, you will... I'll be impressed after that. Uh, this is a pretty old show. Again, move on. Not Sherlock Holmes. Oh boy. Right. No, not very nice of you, are you? Let's go back to Rustford Lost. That line there is in this, is this, is quite interesting. You'll find out on, uh, my, on my let's play of uh, Phoenix Wright Trials and tri Tribulations. But that quote is very interesting. Even though, even though they never knew it was going to, there was going to be a sequel. That quote, oh, so you're a lawyer, you know. It's quite interesting. How do you know it was a deer? Yeah, I would waste time, but I don't wanna. I think we can go back to the detention centre now, it'll be fine. Oh no, you have to talk to bloody Grosberg. I hope I need an after. Now this song playing is called Age... Something like Age, Regret, Repeat. Busy, yeah, right. You just offered to the defendant to Ozell and then you refused. You kind of think, is it really that bad? Fair enough, let's see if we can go in. We might be able to go away now. I'm annoyed if we have to come back now. Uh, why? What is the point? I told us to go away already. Contradicted to the line they just said there, but they never know each other. 
I can't really say much because it would be spoiling the trials and tribulations, perhaps, but. The painting is worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. Okay, fair enough. Now I want to select one having two. Now that painting will be interesting in the next after the next in the next investigation part. Uh, now we can go home, shall can we? Can we go back to Maya? Please let us go back to Maya. Thank you. He didn't seem healthy, he was all skinny. No, he would not say the complete contradiction objection there. I don't know his line is trying to put pretend to be better. Oh no, no, we're not gonna abandon you. What are we talking about? I don't want to oh. I'm not gonna abandon you. We've already asked that. Oh no. I never backstarted that link. No, no, it's just a crystal light. Fifteen years ago, an incident that was very important to not just this game, but a lot of other games. stories of the other games as well. And the other episodes. It was a very, it wasn't a little incident, it was a very big incident and I can't really say much about it. We'll find about it soon at least later on in this episode actually. We won't be till the last, well, the original plan last episode of the game, you'll find out a lot more. This is for Me said the last words red, white, blue. I don't think so. The Fen Mayor. Cool music coming in. I'm not abandoning you. No one is a sad as a person with no friends. Backstory! get in there. Well, we're gonna try, we're gonna see what's in there. Let's go do this. And we're coming up to the end of this part, actually, folks, so this is actually works out well. Facilities. Wait. <laughs> well, we 
do we need to do that? Mr. White, I know. Whoa, well, there we go. A blue cup. White, blue. Remember, folks, red, white, blue. We've got white and blue, so what does that mean? That means somebody we need to check out. We need to have a look at this guy. It's too much to be a Flintstone Phoenix. Right, we will finish off this part. When we finish off the investigation here, we'll finish off this part, folks. Screw it. A wiretap. Now, I can't actually remember whether or not I actually examined it because it's been watched and recorded. But if you do examine the phone, it said the screw's loose in the phone. Well, of course I examined it. I needed to examine it. So, screw loose in the phone, wiretap. What does that mean, folks? That means she has something to do with this as well. There is. Time to go. To be continued. And with that, folks, that's the end of this part. I will see you in the next video. And the next part, when we go to court.